So KBD fans reached out and they said they needed me to review tacos. Well, my favorite is carne. Wait, we're back. This is the Taco Sun 5 coming from the same company that brought you the KBD fans tofu. I don't know why they have a weird obsession with food. So maybe you shouldn't be surprised by the naming. Let's get into it. This is a more robust, heavy-duty, mid-tier constructed keyboard that takes into account the technology that they brought out with the bowl mounts in the Tofu 2.0s. I swear way over there at KBD fans must be getting pretty hungry. This is my ideal layout for a 75% keyboard. The arrows are not offset and the navigation is touching the rest of the alpha is just like a 65% keyboard except you get the nephro, right? Nephro is nice if you're using that for work or for gaming. I hate having the full explosion where the nav and arrows just make it so big and like a square, honestly. This here has clean lines and no sharp edges like the tofus, which is a nice revision because that was the main complaint of the tofu keyboards too sharp. So what does this have to do with tacos? Well, there is a little engraving on the back that has a sombrero and it says taco in a pretty, um, Interesting font, but at least it has a big fatty brass weight. Holy hell, look at that. Whoo, freaking chunky, bro. The aesthetic design here has downward facing LEDs, and I'll show you on the screen right here. It lights up around the brass weight. I don't love this placement because, well, it's pointing down the desk map, but at least it's firing out because the keyboard kind of goes up. So if you look at it from the side, you can probably see a little bit of the LED. Not much, but how often are you? peeking around your keyboard honestly though if you want to peek at the side that side profile is nutty like it really doesn't make me think of a taco at all but this iron man looking keyboard looks freaking fire dude but then you look at the weight and you can't help but laugh the design overall is pretty minimal and they mostly nailed it the tapping angle is eight degrees and the front height is 19 millimeters or so so it's not too tall feels pretty comfortable honestly after using the zoom 75 for a bit it is kind of tall after building it this keyboard is about 2.9 kilograms with uh keycaps pretty respectable weight feels pretty good in the hand i dig it the sound and feel are going to vary depending on what mount you want if you don't remember the tofu 2.0 came with top mount and the three bowl mounts with the different silicone bowls top mount is very stiff for sure but honestly i prefer the sound of the top mount it's more full especially around the space bar but that's not really as fun the bowl mounts even the stiffest bowl has a weaker space bar so it's it's hard for me to deal with It's not ideal, but it's okay. I removed the bowl around the spacebar to try to improve the sound, but it didn't really improve it by a significant margin. I absolutely adore the typing feel of the bowl mount though. It just feels so comfortable. It's almost like a leaf spring plate feel, like very comfortable type on. You have an option for either the 1.2 millimeter non-flex cut hot swap PCB or 1.6 millimeter non-flex cut solder PCB. But the silicone feeds, at least the proto ones here, which are going to be fixed, are too recessed in there and actually don't do a great sound of isolating the sound of the desk from the keyboard as i was typing on it it sounded full but i could hear the desk through the keyboard it was not like it was hollow it was literally just kind of like the keyboard was hitting the desk which is really odd and then after a while after chaining desk mats around realized it was because the bump ons are too shallow this happens on the frog mini as well because of the strip rubber feet it's pretty low profile and when it's pretty low profile it sounds pretty thuddy like it, the keyboard is thudding into the desk and it's not great and i hope that the revised bump ons can fix that Yeah, if you buy this, I honestly consider just putting your own bump-ons over the top. But if you don't have 
the bump on match the diameter of the little cutout, then it may just slide off all the time, which isn't ideal either. So I'll bring this feedback to Wei and hopefully they fix it. Here's another thing that affects the sound and feel. The hot swap will honestly be the death of me because it has to accommodate the 6.25U and the 7 u When I say that, I'm talking about the space bar. If you look right here, the space bar is flipped and I'll explain why. If you have configurability for the 6.25U and the 7 u one of the layouts will have to have north facing LEDs, north facing LEDs, north facing switches, which means it's going to be flipped around. And when you flip the switch, you don't necessarily flip the keycap. So it ends up sounding a little gross. Like it sounds like there's a little bit of interference in the space bar, which isn't great. And that's why I flipped the space bar to improve the sound. I'll let you hear the different sound tests from the stream here. You honestly can't ignore that. It sounds kind of bad. I, it's fine if you're going to use a 6.25V spacebar. It's just, I don't love 6.25V spacebars. I like my spacebars long and thick. I mean, long, I mean, yeah. If there's a solder PCB, this isn't a problem. If you use it, and if you use a solder PCB, it wouldn't be a problem. They weren't able to ship me a solder PCB in time for this review, but I highly recommend the solder PCB. And you can also give yourself split backspace or step caps or whatever layout that you want. The hot swap is pretty limited. I don't know why, but they always kind of give the preferred layout with the proper orientation of the switch to the 6.25u i'm in favor for 7u but i get it for some people that want the 6.25u because typically you get more modifier keys with a 7u bottom in a 65 or a 75 percent you only get one right mod key as for the value this keyboard here is 279 dollars i'm sure the big ass brass weight has something to do with that the package in my hands definitely feels like a 350 dollar 400 dollar keyboard but if you're a true budget gang, you can really look elsewhere. The tacos are also on short pre-order and not in stock, not yet anyway. So keep that in mind for your purchase decision. This is going to be a rolling stock option from KD fans. It's like their new latest 75 that they're going to be selling primarily. So consider it if you're looking for this in the future. And they're implementing all the new mounting styles so that it can tickle your fancy. You can go bowl mount or top mount and change it all around. One of my complaints about the top mount is that KD fans is using those cheap screws that they've been using for ever like it's a 279 dollars keyboard you can get upgraded screws way please for the sound and feel i would definitely cheat and use a bcp or a long pole switch in the spacebar to improve the sound especially if you're stuck with the semi spacebar and don't want to be a degenerate and use the flip spacebar like here i absolutely hate flip spacebar but it definitely sounds better when it's flipped. What do you think of the new taco? It's not a one-time group buy, it's a rolling stock item that KD fans is gonna be offering. Does it strike your fancy? Does it make you hunger? Thanks for watching, I'm gonna get some tacos now. See you in the next one, peace.